I'm Abby, and today we're diving into the world of small space cooking. Specifically, we're exploring the capabilities of a kitchen essential you'll probably already have. The rice cooker. In this episode, we're tackling the challenge of turning your trusty rice cooker into a versatile steaming machine. Whether you're in a dorm, condo, or snug boarding house, we'll show you how to prepare a range of steam dishes, making the most out of your limited kitchen space. First on our list is one of my favorite side dishes in every Korean barbecue session, the famous steamed egg. It's easy, comforting, and all your ingredients might just be already sitting in your kitchen. Start by chopping your onions, garlic, carrots, and spring onions. Since eggs cook fast or easily, mince your vegetables finely to ensure all your ingredients are evenly cooked, that there will be no chunks, and still get that signature smoothness of a steamed egg. Now the star of the show, our trusty rice cooker. For our broth, put about two-thirds to one cup of boiling water into the rice cooker. This is the secret to achieving our eggs fluff. Toss one chicken cube, or you can use chicken or vegetable stock, but as a broke college student, cubes is that girl. While waiting for it to fully dissolve, add your minced vegetables and give it a good stir. Set aside to let cook. Now we'll scramble four eggs in a bowl because in true Samgip fashion, this is for sharing. Or not, if you know what I mean. Once your vegetables are slightly cooked, season with fish sauce, you can also use salt or soy sauce, but fish sauce really brings out that umami flavor we all love. Then some freshly cracked black pepper. Finally, pour in your scrambled eggs. Cover and let steam for three minutes. You'll know it's cooked when it's already firmed up. If you want extra soup sitting at the bottom of your eggs, like me, go for more water. What I love about this dish is I can make it for breakfast, as a snack, or maybe as a side dish at dinner using any available vegetables inside my fridge. And you'll finally have your easy, fluffy, and flavorful Korean steamed egg. You can also use this recipe in a small pot like they do in restaurants, but we don't want to eat in the rice cooker, so plate it using your prettiest bowl and top it off with spring onions to give it that fancy restaurant look to elevate your dorm dining experience. <laughs> this is actually inspired from the steamed eggs you would get from a Samgyup place or a Korean barbecue place. But it's so easy that I find myself cooking it a lot. It's such a pleasant dish. Pwede din siyang appetizer or snack or a side also. Pero siguro kung nagdo-dorm pa rin ako, I would make this kasi sobrang bilis niya lang gawin and the ingredients are just a few. Don't get too excited. This is just the appetizer. We still have our mains. Mmm. Bro, condo living challenges you ng malala. But it does make you creative and resourceful. So for our next dish, we will push our rice cooker's limits and make that affordable and delicious steamed tilapia. First step is to peel your ginger. I like using a spoon because they're very efficient. It peels the ginger skin without worrying if may nasama kang laman. So, walang sayang. Dito lang ang pagsayang niya sa you. Slice the ginger into thin matchsticks, then your green onion in a similar size. Set aside and secure another set for your garnish. The protein of this dish is tilapia. It's affordable and pretty accessible. And alam naman nating lahat na it's a Filipino household favorite. Open it up carefully by sliding a knife against the fish bone on one side of the tilapia. I'm using two tilapias to maximize the space of my rice cooker, but feel free to use how many tilapias you like. Kung anong magkasya sa rice cooker nyo, kahit isang barangay pa yan. Then season the inside and the outside with salt and pepper. Get a plate that'll fit your rice cooker. And this is the time to find that handy steaming basket it came along with. Create a bed of sliced green onions and place your tilapia on top. Then finish it off by adding your ginger matchsticks. Make your sinaing like you've done this a thousand times before. Add your washed rice, then pour your water. Measure it by using the tried and tested finger method. Put the rice cooker pot in, then place the steaming basket for your tilapia. The simultaneous cooking of your rice and ulam just makes this recipe a thousand times better. You don't have to wait for your rice to be ready. You can already check the steamed tilapia after 10 to 15 minutes. Poke the fish with your knife or fork to make sure it's cooked. 
Once the meat is white and tender, your tilapia is good to go. Bring back the green onions and ginger from earlier and top it on your tilapia. For the sauce, combine soy sauce, sugar, and Chinese rice wine in a bowl. If you want to keep it extra simple, you can replace the wine with water. If your rice cooker is your only lutuan, or ayaw nyo lang na marami hugasin, you can place the cooked rice into another bowl so we can heat up our oil in the same pot. Pour the super hot oil into your tilapia and let the vegetables wilt. Finish it off with your soy sauce mixture, get a plate full with your rice, and with that, lunch is served. This dish is a big time saver. It's simple, but still oozing with so much flavor. Let's taste! Mmm! Onti lang ingredients niya, pero super malasa. And I love how light it is. It's also something different from the other dishes we would do because we would use red meats or chicken or something sweet. And although this recipe is very simple, I believe it's actually restaurant quality. Kung mag entertain ka ng groupmates for your thesis, you know, shock them with the very dramatic performance of pouring the hot oil when you're serving the fish. And they'd be like, yun na lang ang bag niya palagi sa group. Magluluto na lang siya. O hindi ako ganun. May ang bag ako. But this one, it's sure to impress. Our third and last recipe is another ulam. But this time, chicken takes the center stage. This looks like a restaurant-level dish, but you can easily make this while you're studying or doing chores. Let's make chicken ginger rice. To start a marinade, mince your green onion, ginger, and garlic. Add the aromatics in a bowl with boneless chicken thighs. You can use any cut that you want for this. Season with salt, then mix well until nasyaro na ang lahat. Balutin mo ako. Or until every inch of the chicken is covered. Maybe even sneak some of the marinade under the skin, why not? Set it aside and let it marinate for one to two hours. Afterwards, you can start cooking your rice. And yes, this is another dish where you can simultaneously cook your rice and your ulam. How nice. Place the marinated chicken on top of the uncooked rice. And this is why you need to season your chicken aggressively because your meat is gonna be soaked in the water. This is the time na ilabas nyo ang kaoea nyo sa katawan. In return, the marinade and the chicken drippings will also give your rice that extra flavor. Pag inin ng rice at luto ng manok, serve generously because I am telling you, mapapa extra rice ka dito. And lastly, tie our dish together by saucing everything up with a mixture of soy sauce, ginger, spring onions, sugar, and sesame oil. Shower that on your chicken rice meal and optionally garnish with thinly sliced labuyo na kinuha mo sa tanim ng kapitbahay. This chicken ginger rice is savory, filling, and most of all, uncomplicated. It's also a breath of fresh air from that usual fried ulams. Give it a try and you'll definitely keep craving for it. That was easy. Let's see how it tastes. Mm. Because of the marination ng chicken, hanggang loob may lasa. Lasa mo na Ma ginger siya, ma garlic siya, very aromatic. So marami karing makakain na rice pag ganito yung ulam mo. And because we used a moist cooking method, which is steaming, mas madali mong ma-achieve yung moist, tender chicken as long as you know how long you would have to cook the chicken. And I also believe na very necessary pa rin yung sauce na ginawa natin because the chicken is nice, but it lacks that wow factor. But yeah, if you nail all of these elements, it's gonna be a flavor feast. A flavor bomb. Like a flavor Oppenheimer. <laughs> so if you're looking for something light and nutritious and very easy to do and very fast as well because nakaasa lang din dun sa pagluto ng rice yung chicken, this might be something you would consider. And that's it for today's journey of rice cooker steaming. I hope you found the recipes I showed you valuable as you explore cooking and compact spaces. 
If you have questions or ideas about small space cooking or utilizing your rice cooker or any other equipment to its fullest potential, please don't hesitate to leave a comment. Together, we'll keep making your small kitchen a hub of delicious possibilities. Until next time, keep those rice cookers working wonders. Happy cooking! Mm. Do it, Samana.